Hi there. It is me, Michelle Curtin, with Shell Sells Florida Homes, powered by Cartwright Realty. And I'm showing you something a little different today. Instead of looking at houses, we're gonna look at what there is to do around your house when you purchase a home in Wesley Chapel. By the way, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post a new video every Friday about Wesley Chapel homes and lifestyles. And so be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell so that you stay in the loop on all the new videos that I post. And be sure and like and share this video and comment below so that I can get an idea of who are my people and what are you interested in seeing. If you have any suggestions on videos you would like to see, let me know that as well. So one of the exciting new things we have is this place called Crate at the Grove. It's brand new. In fact, it's only kind of partially open right now. They will be having their grand opening on June the 4th, 2022. But I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek of what there is to do around here. So I'm gonna flip this around and show you. Let's go on a little tour. So this area here, this is the main stage where they're gonna have live entertainment. And as you can see, there's some comfy chairs to hang out and a little shaded pavilion area over here. So on June the 4th, when they have that grand opening, they're gonna have live music and it will be lots of fun. But this is all shipping containers. Like every store you see here is made from a large shipping container. And so I'm just gonna wander down the streets with you so you can see what we have, what's open and what's coming soon. So right here, we've got the Bacon Boss, which used to be a food truck. And now it's gonna be, I think they're probably gonna keep their food truck as well because it's really popular. But they're also going to uh, have a location here. And then TJ's Hot Dogs, home of the world's hottest hot dogs and ice cold beer. Sounds pretty good. And here's the Toy Jungle. Not sure what that, if that's open yet, but obviously it will be toy related. And then here is the second location of Cafe 365, which also has been a longtime fixture at the shops at Wiregrass, which is another really nice outdoor mall that we have here in Wesley Chapel. And then over here, across the way, there's Pisco Express, Express that is Peruvian Chinese fusion food. So that will be interesting. And then we've got the Falafel Factory that my friend tells me has really good, um, like chicken shawarma and stuff like that. And Polani's Hawaiian Noodles, Urban Sweets, and then a place called Center Ed, which I'm assuming is gonna be like continuing education. And I love how it's set up too, like look at this cute mural. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Have no fun, right? <laughs> so going down this lane, We've got the Brew Bar, and they just had their grand opening yesterday, Cinco de Mayo. So I would expect them to be very busy this weekend with specials and so on. Um, and then Provisions Coffee and Kitchen. That's, the doorway to that is on the other street, so I'm gonna go over there in a minute. In fact, this street is somewhat deserted like there's not a whole lot of the businesses on here that are open yet so I think we're gonna focus on the next street over so this one is called Mayberry and it's babies and kids clothing in future videos also I'm gonna go inside of some of these places 
and uh, give you a better look around and also interview some of the shop owners. So stay tuned for that. This is that Provisions Coffee and Kitchen. So nice little coffee shop. And it's got indoor seating too, which is great. Because that is one thing about some of these places is you get your food at the counter and then you eat it outside, which is a great idea on a cool day. But um, <laughs> once summer hits in Florida, it's not so cool. This one is a wine blush room. Eat, drink, and enjoy. So I will be planning to do that at some point. And then there's not a lot of traffic, so I'm just going to go ahead and walk right down the middle of the road. So we've got a little shop called the Rebellious Hippie, which I'm assuming, well, I'm not going to assume anything for you, but I think it's like a smoke shop. And then there's another smoke shop over here and a Sub-Zero Nitrogen Ice Cream, Camo Bites, which is veg Venezuelan cuisine, Yummy Tablas, which is cheese and charcuterie. And then I love this combination, Boba Mac. It's boba tea and macaroni and cheese. <laughs> somebody loves that combo and wants to share it with the world and then this place it's called the gadgets emergency room and they fix your cell phones tablets computers laptops Macs game consoles and drones and they also sell drones and then this Katie Beth's boutique is a little shop for teenagers and young adults young adult girls I should say and then we've got the Mojo Grill, which is Latin Fusion. I'm looking forward to trying that one. A taco shop. So shout out to my friend, Michelle Leidecker. I'm sure she'll be looking at this place. She loves tacos. And then do my cute little Tesla. Best car ever, I'm telling you. So much fun. And then this store is called All Good Things Gifts. And then here we've got more of a traditional business, which is budget blinds. So it's a good place to go if you've purchased new construction and you have a bunch of naked windows that you need to dress up. You can hear the music over here at La Creacion Express and when we were here the other night there was actually someone standing outside of here even though it was raining and most of the stores were closed but he was out here playing his music so that was awesome and then the fry room is everything fried so we got donuts beer batter fish and pickles chicken on a stick, corn dogs, so all the healthy food. And I have not been there, but I hear it's really good. My trainer won't let me go there. And then the sushi burrito poke bowls, sounds really good, A-T-O. And here's a ramen noodle place called Tasty Ramen. El Prince Mediterranean Cuisine and then here's where I just got done having lunch with my friend Carlos Ramos who is a le local lender here in Wesley Chapel we went to shake a salad and that was delicious I'm gonna take you around the corner because there was a store down at this end on the next street over that seemed to be open But as you can see, lots of construction around here. We are growing, growing, growing. So here's Cafe Zorba, Greek food. Life Essentials. 
do we have here? Gluten-free, paleo, vegan. So health food, but it seems... Oh, maybe it's like a juice bar. I think it's going to be a juice bar. I thought maybe it was like a supplement store. Oh, excellent. There. Tonella's Handpicked Flower Shop. We are desperately in need of a flower shop around here. So that's good to know. And by the balloons, I would say they are open. So if you need to pick up a bouquet for Mother's Day, definitely check them out. And then we've got Viart Jewelry and two extreme tattoos. Those do not appear to be open yet, but coming soon. And then there's a little cigar shop that will be open soon. The Grove Cigars. A Jamaican restaurant called Rhythm Pond. We Rock Rocks. Which looks like geodes and jewelry and stuff like that. That looks pretty cool. And then... Not sure what Smart Start is. Higher Flower. We were laughing about this the other night. Appears to be cannabis related. So I don't know, maybe they'll be making brownies or something. Not sure. And then a Flippin' Fries Factory. A store called Sugar Pop, which I think speaks for itself. Bebo Cheese Steaks. Snapbox, which is a little selfie studio. And then a French bakery. Ooh, I cannot wait for that to open. Oh, and I like their little Eiffel Tower on the, on the mural outside of their door. So, anyway, very exciting stuff happening here. So my question is, have you been to the crate at the Grove yet? And if so, what's your favorite crate? What kind of shops or restaurants would you like to see open here? So I'm looking forward to seeing you out here this summer. It's gonna be a really a happening place and so much fun. If I can help you with any questions related to real estate or just the Wesley Chapel area in general, drop me a comment below or give me a call. My contact information is below and be sure to download some of my subscriber goodies.